So Leonardo has a, a number of really great features as probably the best designed drawing app that I've ever seen. It's still in beta and still has a couple features that I would really like, uh, but there's some things that it does better than everything else on the market. My humble, very well-educated opinion. I think that's funny. All right, so here we're doing... Uh, this is using line stabilization. I have smooth at 30%, even at like 10%. It does uh, basically enough for you to get really nice smooth lines. And I have I have the line set to adjust pressure or size with pressure and opacity with pressure which you do by going brush, clicking on this tab, pressure for size, pressure for opacity. If we want to turn that off, you'll see the line is the same here. And this, this right here seems to be a problem with the surface go. I'm not exactly sure where that comes from or, or what the problem is. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be updated in uh, a update. <laughs> it's morning here, and my brain is asleep still. All right, so, and opacity for pressure for opacity, and here you can adjust this as well, and set a standard brush stabilizer, which I like. All right, so here you can see I can make these wonderful, really, really light lines One thing I like, too, is if you're close to horizontal, or I'm sorry, uh, completely, yeah, horizontal, your picture will restabilize to get right back there. So yeah, this is easier to see. And the program runs, I believe they say it runs at 60 frames a second all the time. All right, so uh, one thing you can do here with Leonardo is you can adjust the saturation and the luminosity uh, incrementally with hotkeys. You can see up here Alt W. Uh, by the way, this is the artist pad for Leonardo uh, from Tablet Pro. And then up here displaying the, the key presses is keypress osd which is at keypressosd.com so here you can very very quickly uh, make some great adjustments to the color and the hue and the luminosity and saturation which uh, this is one of the the main things that i do when i'm drawing is switching between variants of the same color uh, smudge gives you an option of just pressing, I believe it's control. Yeah, control plus alt just does smudge. And then as soon as you let go, you're back at your regular drawing pencil. Uh, brushes. Uh, one thing that I'm hoping he adds uh, in the beta is, uh, so right here, I'm opening, opening this here and here. As soon as I close that panel, or as soon as I close uh, Leonardo, I start it back up. This is not going to open back up here. It'll go back up here. And so that'll need to be adjusted. Uh, each time that you open, I like it so that it remembers the last position of the uh, tool palettes. All right, so let's grab a different one.
there's a toolbar over here. Um, I have to remember that this is not, what I'm not doing is I'm not doing a review of the program. <laughs> We're doing, doing a review of the Surface Go with the program. All right, so let's, let's see if we can get the program to lag. All right, so we're gonna resize, and let's pinch out here. All right, we're at 639 pixels. And one of the brilliant things about Leonardo is the guy who, who wrote the program, you can see calculating pixels down here, used to work in the gaming industry. And so he has some gaming tricks programming tricks to keep the the speed of the brush uh, in real time uh, basically all the time and then what it's doing is, is it drops the resolution of the output and then calculates or, or rebuilds it with that so it's doing a, a low resolution version so you can see exactly what you're doing here and then again it, it puts the high definition version underneath at least I'm pretty sure that's right. You can see the pixels, uh, you can see it pixelated right here. And then again, it calculates the pixels and this cleans up all the way to high resolution. Uh, I think this is the appropriate and best way to handle this type of uh, lag issue in, in drawing software, absolutely brilliant. You can see it's still calculating, so this is still increasing in resolution. But while it's doing that, yeah, I can still draw, and it's not going to uh, stop this from going. All right, so let's pick a different brush. Let's increase the size. change the luminosity again you can see it pixelating um, again that is really awesome all right for the line here there's a ruler and I, I like the ruler a lot because uh, most programs when you're using a ruler that's all right let's decrease the brush size and uh, let's make it dark. Most of the time when you're using a ruler, uh, you're drawing over the line that you're trying to, you're drawing through, the line gets in the way. So here, you can see exactly where it's going to go. The, the imp implementation of this is, is really, in my opinion, is, is perfect. It's, uh, is exactly how it should be. Nice job, Henning. Uh, Henning's the programmer. All right, so my rating for Leonardo uh, with the Surface Go is a full five stars. I don't see any reason why uh, this would not uh, work at 100% uh, speed and optimal. Uh, this is optimal. There's nothing about this where I'm looking at it and going, okay, this is not uh, fast enough, to, or the Surface Go is not fast enough to run Leonardo. Leonardo, you get thumbs up, five stars.